So Hillary Clinton made some comments here about um, pro-Palestine protesters. She is uh, shocked and offended by some of the things that they've done. And so uh, let's watch here, and then I'm going to explain to you why this is just a really over-the-top, grotesque kind of smear. And you might not notice it if you're not really well-versed in all the politics of this. But let's watch, and then I'll break it down for you. The use of sexual violence in conflict uh, was especially uh, horrendous. Uh, I teach now at Columbia at the School of International and Public Affairs, and uh, we had an event. We had two events last week. We had three panels about Ukraine, and they were superb. They went off without a hitch. Uh, we learned a lot and were challenged. Two days later, we had panels on uh, conflict-related sexual violence. It included Ukraine, Sudan, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Israel, and it was protested. You just have to ask yourself how you could have an event focused on using rape as a tactic of war against women and girls, which is in conflict across the world, and you include the most recent horrendous example out of Israel, and that brings out the protesters. So there is a, an invidious strain of anti-Semitism that has never gone away, but we had hopes, it had been uh, certainly submerged, that has been uh, poking its head up uh, for quite some time now. So in other words, those pro-Palestine protesters, they were defending Hamas doing sexual violence and rape. This is, this is her claim, that the pro-Palestine protesters are so deeply anti-Semitic that they're defending Hamas using rape as a weapon of war. This is the claim that she's making. It's certainly implied. It's certainly the undertone. Like, it's astonishing to me anybody would protest. I need you to stop and think about how absurd this smear is. This is like besmirching an entire group of pro-Palestine protesters as being pro-rape. That's what she's doing here. Now, why do you think, it, why do you think they actually protested? Why do you think they actually were protesting? Let me ask you, why do you think they were protesting? Could it be, Hillary, that you are doing textbook demagoguery on the issue? And in fact, you have nothing to say about this. UN Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights appalled by reported sexual assaults and rapes by the IDF and the disappearances of an unknown number of Palestinian women and children, including girls, after contact with the Israeli army in Gaza. Maybe that's why they have an issue. The event is framed from the perspective of, yeah, you know those Hamas barbarians, they're raping people as, and using it as a weapon of war. That's the framing of the event. This doesn't come up, the IDF using sexual violence, and also you're just, it's cheap demagoguery to try to get people to shut their minds off and say, Give Israel all the weapons. Give Israel all the money. Don't look too closely. Let them do what they got to do to, quote, defend themselves as they kill over 30,000 innocent civilians. Maybe that's why people are upset. You know what this reminds me of, guys? You know how at the RNC a few years back, they did this event that, like, highlighted undocumented immigrant criminals who committed crimes like murder and assault and things of that nature. And they would bring the family members of the people who were killed by an undocumented immigrant. And they do a, an event around this. Like, yeah, look at these criminal, illegal immigrants. Look at these criminal, illegal immigrants. And the whole point of it was demagoguery. Let's use these examples to make the argument you got to get rid of all the undocumented immigrants. Because look at the undocumented immigrants who are killing people. It is cheap demagoguery to besmirch an entire group of people. And that's what she's doing here. It, this is cheap demagoguery to say all these pro-Palestine protesters are just pro-rape by Hamas. And the event itself is to be like, look at these barbaric Palestinians. What do you want the Israelis to do? They got to fight back. That's the point. God, I find it so gross, man. I find it so gross. And she acts like, you know, of course, it's not even an attempt 
to understand the perspective of the people who are protesting. Could it be that their primary concern is the 30,000 innocent civilians who've been killed in Gaza with our money and our weapons and they want to stop that? Maybe that could be the reason why they're doing it. No, it's because they're pro-rape. They're pro-Hamas raping. It just, it disgusts me, man. Let's look at this response here too. Hillary knows all about defending rapists. Hillary Clinton stands by her defense of 1975 rape suspect. The Hillary Clinton helped Bill Clinton intimidate and discredit his rape and sexual misconduct accusers. That is quite a, that's quite a way to flip it. That is quite a way to flip it. Hillary Clinton asked to be removed from a 1975 rape case in which her client was accused of sexually assaulting a 12-year-old girl. The one-time Arkansas lawyer said recently, addressing for the first time fresh retrospect retrospective reproach for her defense of a man she, suge she suggested was guilty. They have no interest in understanding the perspective of pro-Palestine protesters and what they're actually fighting for and what they actually support. They want to smear you. They want to shove you to the side. They want to call you anti-Semites. They want to say you're pro-rape. And there is no excusing any of that. It is simply dishonest. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.